Hi, I'm Mike with KP Performance Antennas. Today we're going to go over what comes in the box with our new ProLine parabolic antennas, and we'll also go through how to set up the mount. So what comes in the box? First off, the parabolic dish, mounting hardware and brackets, the feed or sub-reflector, and one of two uh, radio interfaces. Now that we know what comes in the box, let's put it all together. The dish ships already with this plate and this mount attached, making in-field installation that much easier and quicker. You can assemble the rest of the bracket in any order that you wish. Uh, in this case, I like to put this one together first. Just goes on by three bolts. And of course, you'll want to tighten these down. Next, we can mount this assembly to the dish. This is very simple. It just slides straight on. And from there, we have three more bolts that hold this pivot point in place. From there, it's just a matter of now installing the feed and the radio interface. You do that now, and this is very simple. It just slides in here with a collar. Make sure that pops into place. And then the radio feed that you happen to be using. In this case, I'm using the end connector. And it too just slides into place by way of the collar. One thing you'll want to notice this feed can be orientated for either HV polarity or slant 45. And that's done simply by twisting it 45 degrees. Now that everything is tightened up, let's go through the features of the ProLine parabolic antennas. This is a one foot antenna. I have to my left here a two foot antenna mounted on a tower leg. Uh, the one foot provides 24 dBi gain, the two foot 29 dBi gain. These are both at five gigahertz. The antennas actually cover 4.9 to 6.4 gigahertz, very wide range. The mount provides around 20 degrees of elevation adjustment and azimuth adjustment. We have again interchangeable radio interfaces and one more time you can orientate this to slant 45 or back again to H and V. The mount has a pipe, for lack of a better word, where you can pipe mount your radio of choice. Or, if using a radio specific mount, in this case for the Mimosa C5C, slips right in, and then you would mount this in place of the end connector. We hope you found this video informative, and if you'd like more information on our ProLine parabolic antennas, please visit us on social media or hit our website at kpperformance.com.